Hello and welcome to the Psych120 screencast about research skills using PsychInfo. My name is Dr. Eric Landrum from the Department of Psychology here at Boise State University and this is the Psych120 badge or assignment about a very important skill for your future as an undergraduate psychology major being able to use the PsychInfo database. You know you can find information all over the place with a Google search or a Google Scholar search and there are quite a few search engines but there are specialty databases that Google cannot access that you can as a student at Boise State. It's actually part of the fees that you pay to the university. Subscribe to this very expensive psych info database which is provided by the American Psychological Association. And so um, this assignment is really all about uh, gaining this very specific yet important skill. When you go on and take Psych 321 research methods in our psych department here, that's going to be a skill that you're going to need Definitely. So we're going to start to practice it here so that you can continue to hone that skill in future courses as an undergraduate psychology major. So what do you need to do for this? Well, it's the same kind of format as before. There you can see assignment instructions. You can see uh, then submission grading details. Eventually I'll have a YouTube link here and then also to the this is a screencast. And then you can see that uh, um, I provided an additional resource if you want more details about PsychInfo, how that database is created, the publisher, the American Psychological Association, and so forth. So how, and, and then actually we're going to, during this screencast, pop into PsychInfo, so actually demonstrate some of these skills for you that you'll be practicing. So uh, first off, you're going to read Chapter 9 in the Psych Major, which is a chapter specifically dedicated to PsychInfo. Then you're going to log in, and I'm going to do that here in a moment. You're going to watch this screencast and consult the additional resources. And then I've got a series of, looks like, six questions for you. You're actually going to do a search on the term depression. I'm going to show you a trick here with wild cards. I'm going to show you how to do a compound search, research for two terms. And then I also want you to practice an author search. You're going to pick a Department of Psychology faculty member, and I'll show you where to get that list. It's on the web. Uh, and then, But not me. Ha ha. And then um, you're going to tell me who you selected. You're going to do a keyword search on them. And then you're going to uh, scroll through the articles and determine how many are really by that person. So, for example, there, if you're looking at Mary Pritchard, there could be more than one Pritchard in the PsychInfo database. If you're looking at Kim Hardy, there could be more than one Kim Hardy in the PsychInfo database. So sometimes you actually got to look at things. So submission and grading details. You're going to submit this all through that number two assignment submission. You know what that is, right? You come up to here, you click, and you scroll down, and here's point number two, assignment submission. You're going to put all the information I ask you for in this little spot. So for example, you might want to just, here, watch this. Can I do this? Look at this. You might just want to copy that. Oh, look at that. And then if we can we paste? Now we're going to get that dumb command thing. Then you're going to do control V from the keyboard and now just come in here and type in, you know, your answers. And then just hit submit when you're done. Now I'm going to undo all that because I don't because I'm not submitting this homework. You are. So I'm going to delete that. But anyway, that's I think that would be a pretty slick way to do it that minimizes the amount of retyping that you need to do. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the regular Regular badge here, the research skills using PsychInfo. So let's um, go over and switch over to PsychInfo, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about the, the wild card, the and, and the author search. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go to a new tab. I'm going to do this from, this, I, it's actually library.boisestate.edu. It's actually, as you can see on the screen, library.boisestate.edu. Uh, we want the PsychInfo database, so I'm going to click on databases. I'm going to scroll down here so I get the, to the P's. Keep scrolling until I find PsychInfo. That's the only one you want. There's other ones with the word psych and psychology in the name. You want PsychInfo right there. Ah, this is good. So this is where you get to uh, log in. And then my password, don't watch while I type this. Good, good. I'm going to log in here. Okay, uh, so here's the Psych Info screen from Boise State. You can see our little logo up here. Um, you don't want a basic search, you want advanced search. I always click on advanced search. And so uh, I'm not going to do your homework for you, but I'll do a little bit of it. That was kind of contradictory, wasn't it? Okay. 
So depression. So you just come in here and type depression. Spelling matters. If you spell it wrong, it's going to really mess up the search. Do a site and depression. And you can see what I call hits, the number of hits. So, so this is kind of cool. So Psych Info is a database of almost every psychology article published, not only in English, but in other languages, from the 1800s forward. Actually, there are a handful of articles that go back to the 1600s, but mostly it's from the 1800s forward. In fact, oh my gosh, you can see it right here, technically back to 1632, okay, uh, to the current date. Actually, that's a year past the current date. Um, so, um, so you can see that the number of hits, so in the Psych Info database, on the topic of depression, there are 194,730. So if I was doing this homework assignment, how many hits, how many records came up? Uh, oh my gosh, I gotta go back. 194,730. 194,730. That'll be a nice little double check for you. So this first one, now, by the way, I don't know when you're gonna complete this, but the numbers only go up. So there might be 100,000, 190,000, 194,000, 800 or 195,000. So, but when you do this for the first time, make sure that first number comes up to be at least this number, and it should be, it could very well be greater than that. And then if you were using this tool, you would scroll down and start looking at, is this the topic that I'm interested in? Well, no one's going to look through 194,000 730 articles if you're doing a paper on depression and so you might try to narrow it down now your assignment I'm going to show you uh, depression and children is a way to narrow it down but also you could do depression and I'm gonna say college students I gotta spell it right though depression and college students now it's gonna now psych info is going to do a search and it's going to look for the combination of these two terms in the keywords within the article and now you see I've reduced it greatly to 6194 that so this is these are going to be the articles that are in the psych info database about depression and college students now that's a lot still but here are some really cool things and so let's say that you want to read the article about socioeconomic status and symptoms of depression and anxiety in african-american college students colon the mediating role of hopelessness so let's say oh my gosh this is going to be an awesome article published june 14 it's pretty current i want to look at it Here's what you do. You click on find it. Sometimes it's going to have a PDF link directly right in there, which is awesome. But um, this one doesn't, but that's okay. We're going to click on find it. Cool. So now sometimes this doesn't happen. We actually have the exact article available to us, but sometimes you have to do what's called interlibrary loan. And if that was a necessity, that option would come up here. But I'm going to click on exact article. And then uh, I always like the PDF. Uh, you can do it electronically if you want to. I like downloading the PDF. And here it is. And so here's this article. I can make it a little bit larger if I wanted to. Okay, here's the article by Salami and Walker in 2014. Socioeconomic status and symptoms of depression and anxiety in African American college students, the median year old hopelessness. And here it is. And so you could save this to a hard drive, to something online, to a, you know, a Dropbox or, um, what's that, SkyDrive? And then you could print it out. You can just have it available to you. And that's the journal article. That's the really cool thing. You might not be able to get access to this. In fact, I'm guessing if you did a Google search, you might find this article exists, but you probably, I shouldn't say probably, you might not have a direct link to the actual um, resource, which is because Psych Info is a subscription service that Boise State pays for, and you're a Boise State student, that's how you get access to it, through your Boise State resources. And so um, you could come back to this list, and you could, actually there's all kinds of other features here that I don't use. You can create folders within your library account, and all kinds of cool things. I don't do that, but you might find that to be useful. The effects of sleep problems and depression. Okay, now this looks really interesting, but it's a dissertation. And you can go find the dissertation, but usually what you're finding is like a two-page summary. I tend to stay away from dissertations only because they're typically not that helpful. 
And so this is going to be a really important tool, not only for you to use in this class as part of the assignment, but also because this is how psych majors and psychology professors and psychologists find information about our discipline, about our profession, we do a psych info search. And so Google's fine for some things, but if you want to be a little bit more professional about it, if you want to show off your skills, here would be one way to do that. Um, so that's part of that assignment. And so part of that assignment was to do these searches and record the number of hits that come up, and you can do them just as I described here. But another part of this assignment is to figure out how to do an author search, and this can be very helpful. Now I'm going to do this for me but you can't. So you've got to pick someone in the Department of Psychology. So let's see. How will we find that part out? So who's in the Department of Psychology? I'm going to Boise State. And then I'm just going to type in the search box, Department of Psychology. Because I won't have the URL memorized. I should probably have it linked somewhere. But I don't. I just do this every time. So here's the Department of Psychology. Here is faculty and staff. And so you can do, uh, for this part of the assignment, let me click back. So do an author search on a Boise State De Department of Psychology faculty member. So you can pick anybody here, uh, Dr. Refinetti, Dr. Campbell, Dr. Janucki, and so forth, except for me, um, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Seibert, and so on. You can see everybody there. So do one of the main faculty members. Um, now come back to here and see we didn't do anything here with the search terms but now we're going to do this with again I'm going to use me and haha you can't use me though for this assignment so I'm going to do Landrum but I'm going to come over here I'm going to say select author so if the word Landrum is an author that's what's going to come up here now here's the thing I, it's hard to believe, but other people are named Landrum. There's at least one person in this database where Landrum is their first name. How wacky is that? I, I know, I just have a hard time imagining that. I'm going to do a search. And so, 250. Well, my, 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 look at that. So, um, in my assignment, I would, what Boise State faculty member did you select Landrum, although you're not going to? How many, uh, I selected keyword, I selected author. That's this part right here. Whoops, take it back. In the second column here, I selected author. Um, how many hits? I think there were 250, right? I keep going back and forth. I don't need that one anymore. Don't need that. 250. But now how many of them were by me? Because here's what happens. Here's Landrum R. Eric. That's me. But here's Ashley R. Landrum who wrote a dissertation. That's not me. So now that part of the assignment is you got to scroll through and figure out that's me. That's me. That's me. That would be me. This is not me. Yasuko Landrum. Awesome. Uh, so even though this is a really interesting topic, that one's not by me. So if it's an unusual name, then it's, this is pretty easy. But if you're doing a search on Smith, you can see where this little author search really wouldn't work. Okay. Um, there's me, but sometimes it's not me. So that's pretty much this assignment. And so you can copy this into, you know, once you click here, you can copy these details, fill in the blanks essentially. Um, and when I go to grade, I'm gonna do I'm gonna check and see if you got the numbers right. And when you select your author, I'm gonna check to see if you got those numbers right. And so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are other inform there are other sources here. PsychInfo is an incredibly important resource, an incredibly important skill for you to get good at because you will write better psychology papers if you have this PsychInfo skill and you exercise it. Um, when you're writing papers in psychology and for other courses. And by the way, there are other professional databases for other disciplines. If you're writing a sociology paper, you might want to use their database. If you're writing a, a, a paper in English, there's all kinds of databases that you might use. So Google is a really good tool to have uh, access to, but there's more than Google in terms of finding information on the internet that's directly connected to your discipline. And that's it for this screencast.